what's going to happen is that your messaging is going to begin to strike a nerve with that person and it's going to begin to really build trust. If you want to attract high-end clients into your business, the only thing that matters when it comes to your messaging is them. A couple of months ago, I was working with a client. She had really transitioned out of a great corporate career and was moving into her business as a consultant. And she was spending, before I met her, she was spending an inordinate amount of time researching what her competitors were doing. She was researching what they were offering people. She was researching their messaging. She was researching their services. She was researching their price points. And I said to her, you are spending your time on absolutely the wrong thing. You're researching your competitors where what you really need to do in order to set yourself apart, attract high-end clients and make sure that the messaging and marketing you're putting out into the world speaks to them, the only thing that matters is them. And so what we did was map out a plan for her to begin to do more research, have more conversations, and really do more focused investigation into what made those clients tick. That is absolutely how you begin to position yourself in a category of one. I call that preeminent positioning. And when you are there, you are top of mind, you can charge higher fees, you can work with absolute high-end clients who can afford to hire and rehire you again and again. What does that mean? It means a lot more money in your bank account, and it also means way fewer headaches and a much more simplified, focused, less overwhelming business. So when you are able to really do in-depth customer research, so you truly understand your client and the customers that you are working with, you're not focused on your competition, you're just focused on the people that you are serving, a couple of things are going to begin to happen. So the first is that maybe you've had that experience of trying to come up with marketing messaging or trying to write a blog post and having that sort of icky feeling that your messaging and your content sounds like everybody else's. It really doesn't stick out from the pack in any way. And it feels like a disservice to you, your legacy, and why you started your business in the first place. When you take the time to truly understand your client, the only person that matters, you know, when it comes to your business, what's going to happen is that your messaging is going to begin to strike a nerve with that person and it's going to begin to really build trust. So there are three levels of messaging that you wanna be paying attention to when it comes to speaking directly to your client and building trust. So the first level is the one that most you know, marketing business people will talk about, and that's the problem. So you definitely wanna make sure that as it relates to the service that you offer, you really are able to understand and describe the problem that your ideal client is facing better than she or he can. Okay, so that's the first thing. Now the beauty of being a woman entrepreneur is that very often a lot of our sort of inherent gifts in communication really help us in this department to really articulate and understand and hear our clients' problems and challenges so that we can describe them even better than they can. Level two is to really research, understand, and then describe the impact of that problem. Okay, so if, if you think about it, level one in your case might be, my messaging isn't clear, it's not working for me. The impact of that problem is I sound like everybody else and I'm having a hard time standing out from the pack. Okay, that's the level two problem. So now we're taking a little bit deeper and getting even deeper into your client's psychology so that allows you to connect with them on a deeper and more intimate level. 
Level three is where you're able to understand, articulate, and describe the emotions that surround that problem and the impact of the problem. So the emotions of, in this case, maybe feeling less than because your messaging doesn't stand out, maybe feeling a little bit insignificant because the messages that you're trying to connect with your client, the, the things that you're trying to put out into the world, they're just not landing and you're sounding like everybody else and you thought um, in your mind that you really had this gift to give, but the message that you're trying to share is not working for you, it can make you feel very insignificant. And as a high-end provider, as a thought leader in your space, that can be a really tough place to come from. So there you go, There's, I've just modeled three different levels of, of communication and research that you need to be able to do to really articulate your client's problem. So level one is the problem itself. You want to understand that problem and be able to articulate it better than they can. Level two is the impact that that problem has on their lives or careers or businesses. You also want to be able to understand that and articulate it better than they can. And the third most powerful of all is understanding and articulating the emotions around that problem. And when you can do that, what happens is that your client feels deeply heard. And here's what I know to be true. If I'm sitting down with you and we have a conversation and I feel that you have deeply heard me, I will trust you. I will like you and I am much more, you know, inclined to purchase from you and to invest with you. That is a level of deep connection that can set you apart as the preeminent provider in your market and as somebody who can consistently and predictably attract high-end clients into your business. So there you have it. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching. And if you know of someone else who could benefit from it, I'd love if you would share it with them. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time.